Uh, woo. I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. I've gotta figure it out. Hey friends, we're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, and Kenya, Milo, and Charlie. We live to love an adventure. This is our story of leaving the norm behind to travel the United States full time, spreading love and encouraging others to do the same. Our family motto is love always, adventure often. So hit subscribe and join us for this incredible journey. Hey, what's happening everybody? Welcome to Love Always Adventure Often. Today's an exciting day because... Woo -hoo! That was great! Hey, wait! What are you doing? ridiculous way you could do that. What in the world? Woo! We're diving! Riding along in my automobile. How's the ride from the bunk? Woo! So we're at the diesel mechanic. Dropped Buster off here two days ago. They've had her for two days doing a few maintenance things on her. We had a transmission coolant line that was out and, um, and then a full lube, full service, oil change, all of that kind of stuff. I had it two days, we're here and it's not quite ready to go. We got about a half hour to wait, but uh, we're excited to pick her up and drive her home. Uh, this is really it. After this, she's road ready as far as mechanically goes. There's a few other things I still need to finish up as far as the build out goes. Look at this beauty. That's sweet. So just, uh, you know, we heard it was really, really important, obviously, to get as much maintenance done on it, oil changes, transmission fluid flush, all that kind of stuff before we hit the road to uh, prevent problems rather than deal with them as they come up. All right guys, so I'm so disappointed that we didn't film any of this process. We've been at the mechanics for three hours. The mechanic got finished, we were ready to go. He pulled it out of the garage, it started fine. Parked it in the parking lot, went to ring us up for 10 minutes. I came out, the bus wouldn't start. Like just, ugh. there was no power coming from the batteries. So we played with it for like two hours and finally realized that the ground went bad. The ground wire somehow, between the time that he pulled it out of the shop, we paid for it, came out to start it, the ground wire got a bad connection. And uh, so it took us a while to figure that out from a lot of, I got a lot of help from the Facebook group, which was awesome. Uh, I'm so grateful for that. But anyway, she started and she comes home tonight. We were so nervous that it wasn't gonna come home tonight. So anyway, I'm gonna drive this beast home. backed out. We get our vinyl lettering for the exterior of the bus. My good friend Matt owns a uh, screen printing t-shirt sticker company and his family is coming down. They live a couple hours away um, but they've been cutting our vinyl lettering and they're gonna come down and help us install it and his kids were super excited that they were doing this for a YouTube channel and a family that, that's on YouTube and so we're gonna have some fun with them and uh, we're gonna put the lettering on, let them be in one of our episodes and, uh, and just have some fun with it. So I'm super excited about that. Um, we're also just knocking out a punch list. I just wanna show you uh, this punch list right here is everything, well, <laughs> everything. Right now it's everything that we wanna get done before we take off uh, in hopefully about four or five days. Um, lastly, we're getting ready for a, uh, an open house. We're gonna have an open house for the bus here in the neighborhood, just so local people that have kind of been watching us build and you know, all that kind of stuff can come check it out. So I'll show you some of that 
and uh, we're just gonna have some fun. Stickers and t-shirts just arrived. This is Matt, they have a company called Co and Crew that are doing all of our printing and our sticker cutting and all of that kind of stuff. Oh, dude, you spelled it wrong. No, I'm just kidding. You proofed it. <laughs> Your fault. <laughs> What's up, boys? What's this up? is Co and Crew, can you wave? They wanted to come and check out our bus and be on our channel and show us some of the cool stuff their dad's been making. Oh, hold up the shirts. That looks hold good. I like that one too. Those look good. Yeah, that looks really good. That's awesome. Look at that. That one's yours. That's awesome. Does it fit? Yeah. That looks good. I like it. Oh, coffee mug. Yes. Figured that that's, might get some use. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. I love that. Thank you. Okay, all right, so these are our large logos, which were meant to go there. I did an extra one just because I had vinyl. It was gonna go to waste if I didn't do one. I didn't okay. charge you for the Perfect. extra one. You can throw it on your That's awesome. Something. Yeah, that'll be great. Oh, that <laughs> looks so good. Oh, I'm so glad we stuck with the white. We almost changed our mind last minute and went with black. Dude, it looks freaking amazing. I love it. Yes, dude. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh, so we've been doing lots of details. Lots and lots and lots of details. I'm not gonna show them all to you anymore because we're getting really close to doing our bus tour video. And I don't wanna ruin all the beautiful surprises. Oh, there's one that I don't want you to see yet. So we still have this blank spot right here, which is the spot for our refrigerator. We're gonna drive the bus to the furniture store right now, pick up the refrigerator, <laughs> put it right in the bus. We'll bring you along with us. Don't worry, I'm not filming while I'm driving. It just appears that way. Camera tricks. Camera tricks. Quick story time. So we went, um, as we filmed before, we went, uh, took the bus to the department store to pick up a refrigerator, one that we had found earlier. And as we pulled into the parking lot, a couple of guys approached the bus and wanted to look at the bus and see what we had done with it and stuff. Well, apparently, one of the guys owns a bunch of apartment buildings and he keeps refrigerators on hand for his apartment buildings for when the refrigerators go out. So he said, I have a brand new refrigerator still in the box, the same exact one you're looking for or close to the same one you're looking for and I'll sell it to you for 150 bucks. You just gotta come to my shop tomorrow when I'm off work. So that's what we're doing now. We're taking off, we gotta drive about a half hour, to go get our refrigerator. Me, right here. Hello. All right, so we got the fridge. I'm gonna be honest, I was really skeptical. I didn't know if the man in the mall parking lot was gonna come through. <laughs> but he did. And we have this beautiful fridge for, uh, what, a quarter of the price that we thought Maybe we were gonna third. pay? A third of the price yeah. we thought we were gonna pay? So, sweet, brand new, right out of the box. So I've got the, uh, the fridge in, as you saw, and I got the, the window tinted behind the fridge so you won't be able to see the back of the fridge. So now I'm ready to install, and I've got these L brackets, and 
I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. I've gotta figure it out. And uh, I'm thinking, I mean, obviously I need to screw into the side of the fridge. I don't know how careful I need to be of what my screws might hit on the other side. I would assume pretty careful. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna figure this out. I'll show you what I do along the way. Here's what I've got. I've got it installed. So I've got the one, one bracket on top, two brackets on the side. Honestly, these screws don't really grab that sheet metal that great. I'm, I'm quite actually a little bit worried about it still. So I've got the one on top, got the two on the sides here. I'll back up so you can get perspective. And then on the floor underneath, got two brackets right now I just have one screw in the floor I'm gonna put another screw in there tap a hole on that and uh, this one I'm really happy about because we found a screw that fit into the opposite door side mount so we use the door mount which is a threaded um, piece to the frame and uh, just stuck the bolt that we had in there that fit so like I said I'll tap another hole here that screws into the ground and honestly, these bottom ones are probably my most solid uh, points of mounting. And they don't show at all when you're, well, not too bad when you have the door shut. So if you have any suggestions or other ways people have mounted refrigerators like this that are just normal refrigerators with no mounting points, let us know. I am not afraid to modify this at all. Um, in fact, it might me feel me, make me feel better if we had some knowledge from other people who had mounted one successfully so anyway looks good pretty good to me wow thank you so much for watching hope you enjoy seeing our videos as much as we love making them don't miss a single adventure or bus moment make sure you hit subscribe and share with everyone you know we'll see you next week and remember to love always and adventure often